business to get the complete picture in near real time to make smarter, more informed decisions faster. So you can increase revenue and improve safety and efficiencies everywhere. Hi everyone. So artificial intelligence, this is not a nice to have feature anymore. This is not something you know you want to have, this is something you must have. Okay? It looks like this is probably the only way to manage the IoT world that we are building. So we see millions of cameras being installed and connected every year. We see governments, mega cities, big corporates collecting, gathering huge amount of information, but only using a small fraction of it, maybe 10%, 20%. And the main reason is that humans cannot process and analyze so much data, definitely not in real time. So it's obvious that if we want to move from crime forensic to crime prevention, if we want to move from post-mortem to real-time respond, we must build smarter, autonomous systems that can process all this data and react in real time. And of course, artificial intelligence is the key to making this happen. So the good news is that we already know how to stream the data, we all video in this case, we already know how to even manipulate the data. This, for example, is 3D by Intel. So we can do that, but in order to move to the next level, we need the visual understanding. We need the computer to understand that this is a referee, this is a player, this is a touchdown. And like I said, artificial intelligence is probably the only way to do that. So if it's so obvious and everybody talks about it, why don't we see enough products in the market that are utilizing the full potential of artificial intelligence? And the reason is, it's complex, okay? It's complicated. So you look at me, you see me, and you easily can tell that I'm a male, I'm in my mid-20s, I'm handsome, maybe you can even see that I'm nervous, but for a computer, this is a very difficult task, okay? This is very computer intensive. And the question is why our human brain is doing so much better work than the huge computer that we are building, right? Where we're trying to compare. So I'm comparing our human brain to the best silicon chip that we have. So we're looking at the compute elements, the number of neurons in the brain versus the number of transistors on the silicon chip. Well, they're about the same scale. When you look at the speed, a modern computer can calculate a million times faster, but still, a small child can do a much better job in detection and classification than a supercomputer. Why is that? And the reason is efficiency. And one more observation that we know that today is heterogeneity. The fact that the brain is really a heterogeneous system. We know today that there are regions in the brain that are designed just to look for horizontal patterns. Different regions just looking for vertical patterns. And other regions, they're trying to combine the whole visual understanding together. So the brain is not one this entity. It's really small brains. Each one of them is doing a specific task, okay? So it's really a heterogeneous compute device. And we're getting there. So in the beginning, we build CPUs, right? And they're really, really good for random logic execution, and Intel has a variety of CPUs, from 6 watt, atom based, to core, to Xeon monsters. They're doing a really great job, but soon enough we found out that if you're dealing with highly vectorized and SIMD operations, you need the different architecture. So we introduce the integrated graphics. So most of Intel CPUs will have an integrated GPU, and they're doing a really good job in rendering 3D, graphic, 3D graphics and other stuff. And recently we found out that they're doing a very good job in executing neural network as well. So use these GPUs. They come usually with an Intel 
already, you paid for it, right? And there are flavors to it. We have small, medium, large GPU, you know. And then when Intel acquired NVIDIA's, we introduced the VPU, the Vision Processing Unit, which is a new architecture designed specifically for neural network execution. And today, we have a variety of products based on NVIDIA. So you can have, uh, first of all, you can have the NCS, the Neural Compute Stick, you just plug it in to a USB device, and you can start working on implementation, and you can have one myriad X, two myriad X, three myriad X, even eight myriad X on a PCIe or mini PCIe card, which is pretty amazing. And of course, we have an FPGA, a family of FPGAs.